Hello dears and welcome back to my slow cooking YouTube channel. Today I am excited to share with you my delicious shredded beef recipe. The first step is to clean the beef meat by removing any white connective tissue and preheat my multi-cooker. The sauté function of my green pan is 205 Celsius degrees, but from my experience that is too high. I heat butter oil aromatized with garlic, thyme and bay leaves in the multi-cooker using the sauté setting of 175 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Celsius. I infuse the butter oil with garlic and thyme for about 2 minutes. Next, I start sealing the beef on all sides until it gains a beautiful golden brown color for approximately 6 minutes. I deglaze with red wine in preparation for adding chopped red onion to create a flavorful sauce. While this cooks, I prepare a marinade by mixing black pepper, garlic powder, paprika powder, dried thyme and salt. For a creamy texture and a vibrant color with a touch of spiciness, I mix olive oil with paprika sauce along with minced garlic cloves, barbecue smoked sauce, chili paste, plus the mixed powder condiments from before. Now it's time to coat my sealed beef in this colorful marinade. I use only half of it now while adding the other half into the upcoming sauce. I use some water to clean out any remaining marinade from its bowl. Waste not, my grandma told me that. Once the onions have softened, slightly I place my marinated beef amidst these aromatic ingredients in my multi-cooker pot. The final step is to add the remaining wine, marking the beginning of the slow cooking journey.
the beef was slow cooked in this delightful sauce for 7 hours at 105 Celsius degrees using the simmering function. Throughout this time, the only thing I did was drizzle this vibrant, appetizing sauce over the beef to keep it tender and juicy until the end of cooking. This is the appearance of my beef after 4 hours of slow cooking and the aroma it released was simply divine. After patiently waiting for 7 long hours, this mouth-watering piece of meat is now ready to be shredded. But first I remove the garlic halves to use them as a spread for my upcoming sandwich. Furthermore, I'll add a touch of this incredible sauce to enhance the savory flavor of my sandwich also. Once the remaining thyme springs and bay leaves are removed, I can finally shred the beef using this handy claws. Note. Do not use them directly in slow cooker as I did because I managed to damage mine with a scratch. If you don't have them, you can opt for using a fork as the meat is incredibly tender and will easily fall apart. This delectable shredded beef can be served in various ways with mashed potatoes alongside vegetables or as a delightful sandwich just as I did. The preparation of the sandwich will be featured in an upcoming video, hopefully next week. Rest assured, it was truly delicious. If you enjoy this video and you would like to explore more mouth-watering slow-cooked recipes, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you!